Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this little laptop is the OneMix One S Yoga, which has a 7-inch Full HD display, an Intel Celeron 3965Y processor, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and it sells for about $440, making it one of the cheapest mini laptops that I've tested in a while. It uh, ships with Windows 10, but if you're familiar with different operating systems, you'll notice that this is not Windows 10, it's Fedora. Uh, I did a previous video where I showed several different operating systems running, and for the most part, they all had some sort of uh, difficulty in out-of-the-box performance. Fedora came the closest to looking the way I would expect it to in that the screen resolution was working fine, touch screen support was working, keyboard shortcuts were working, but the screen was rotated into portrait mode or sort of diagonal. Uh, I found a set of instructions that allows me to rotate the screen manually, which seems to largely make it work the way you would expect a laptop to. So right now we've got the ability to open uh, applications, the optical touch sensor works, um, we can adjust settings, I can connect to the internet, Wi-Fi works, the keyboard works, keyboard shortcuts work like uh, screen brightness or volume and audio is working as well. So for the most part, if all you want to do is use it like a little laptop, you're fine using Fedora 30 once you've got that, uh, that technique. And I'll show you, I'll put the description in, or the link in the video, but basically uh, I found an article at Stack Exchange or an entry at Stack Exchange that answered a question of how to programmatically rotate the screen in Wayland, which is the display server, and you basically just open up a terminal window and either copy and paste or slightly modify this line into it, and it allows you to do something like I've done here, which is map the Control-8 key to uh, rotate. So it's an imperfect solution, and I'll show you why. In landscape mode, or uh, in portrait mode here, uh, touch input is working pretty much as you would expect. So I can touch different parts of the screen, I can navigate, I can switch between virtual desktops, I can open applications. Uh, everything sort of works the way you would expect it to, except for the fact that it's sideways. But if I rotate the screen now, when I touch the screen, everything's off a little bit. So when I press different parts of the display, it thinks I'm pressing a different part. So uh, let's go ahead and switch back to something with the web browser here and you'll see I'm just trying to scroll through pages and it's telling me I can't do that. Or rather, now we're going the opposite way. So basically, this shows you what's happening. It thinks that we're going sideways when we're not in fact, uh, or it thinks that sideways swipes are up and down swipes. Same thing goes for pen input sideways instead of up and down. And the different points are not the points that you would expect them to be. So in terms of touch, it's imperfect. Uh, you could try switching into tablet mode if you really wanted to, and say you wanted to read an article in tablet mode. Oh, well that seems to work just fine, except once I actually lift the screen, it does support automatic screen rotation, and now it's sideways again. So the way to scroll is to move up and down to move left and right, and everything is sort of at a weird angle. So it's an imperfect solution if you really wanted to use it as a tablet. It's an imperfect solution if you wanted to use the touchscreen display. But if you're primarily looking for a tiny laptop that you could fold up and fit in your pocket, you want to run uh, Linux software on it, then theoretically this is a way to do that. You could use the latest version of Fedora. Now it's also possible that uh, just like there was a solution to rotating the screen, there might be a solution to getting the pen calibrated properly or the touchscreen calibrated properly. Uh, spending a little bit of time Googling and not necessarily being an expert on Fedora, Wayland, or Linux in general. I wasn't able to find that myself, but it might be something that you could find. You can find more details about performance of Linux, Windows 10, other operating systems, um, including Chromium OS at lilliputing.com, or check out other videos that I've posted to uh, the Lilliputing YouTube channel. Uh, just to give you another little overview here, we've got a USB port, which is we're running this from a USB flash drive, micro HDMI, USB Type-C, an SD card reader, actually micro SD and a headset jack, and it's uh, called the OneMix 1S One Yoga, available for about $440 with a Celeron 3965Y processor, and 1920 by 1200 pixel touchscreen display with support for an optional pen, uh, which is basically just a $10 add-on if you buy this from Geek Buying, which is um, uh, one of the companies that I have worked with in the past and uh, which also uh, carries this. So anyways, this is uh, Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a look at the OneMix 1S Yoga running Fedora with the screen orientation accurate 
the touch calibration inaccurate.